Rebar CAD also lets us detail different types of ranges. In this instance, we want to detail the varying bars on the wall. We select the range and add the spacings for the bars. Draw a sketch of what the bar would look like. Select the start of the range and the end of the range. This will work out the quantity of bars. Draw our first bar in the range and our last bar in the range, letting the program work out the bars needed for this range. As you can see, now it has detailed a bar range starting at A and finishing at U. This again is reflected in our bar list. But as there are a lot of bars with not a lot of space in between them, you may want to group them together. So instead of having single bars, we will have multiple bars in a group. To do this, select the range line and edit it and simply hit step taper. Type in a step increment and in this case we are now in groups of two with a group of one at the end. Change the increment again and now we have groups of three bars. By hitting OK our bars are now updated from A to G. Looking at the bar list this is automatically reflected again.